tonight. I just wanted to take a minute to show you all how I fixed my cigarette lighter power outlet problem on the 100 series Land Cruiser. This is a 2000 year model. Uh, I would not recommend fixing it this way. However, if uh, you should choose to, be aware that uh, you are there, you are eliminating the fuse that's built into the power outlet, so it could potentially cause a fire hazard inside and under the dash. Probably the last place you want to have a fire, at least from my experience. It's a pretty bad place to uh, have one. That being said, I did this uh, repair, quote repair, with the intent that I would no longer put large amp draws across this particular outlet, and I would use fuses down line until the point which I tear the thing apart and install another fuse upstream. Anyway, here's how you can do it. First thing you're going to want to do probably to determine if this is uh, the where your fault lies is uh, pop the uh, assembly off and then run a little jumper of sorts across the back while you test to see if there is power coming out of it. Uh, you'll see on this screen the two parts you're going to want to jumper are from the left to the right. You can see the fusible link is this part that's melted. On the left side you can see where it's melted. The left outlet is shown in this picture versus the right one which is still intact. So it's that black uh, 90 degree angle piece. Anyway, so that's where you're going to want to run your little jumper across from one to the other to see if that is where your problem is or probably visually inspect it and look and see if it's melted like mine was. Uh, here's a close-up of the problem uh, link and as you can tell it's like I don't know why they built it this way to where once that thing blows there's no way to replace it unless you replace the entire socket outlet by ordering a part off of uh, from the parts store or whatever so it's kind of a silly uh, design in my opinion but I guess it's what they chose to eliminate fire hazards under the dash alright this uh, image shows a nicely intact one on the right hand side so in order to uh, bypass this link Thing, you can see there's a disc, uh, an isolation disc that runs in between the two metal plates. So when you loosen that nut right there, you can simply remove that disc and uh, clamp it back together with the nut and uh, the two parts are there by joined and linked once again so the power transmits right through the uh, whatever you call that thing there the uh, keyway or whatever you want to call it and right through the power outlet so this is a, an image of uh, after taking the nut off you kinda gotta wiggle that little riveted part out easily and then uh, just remove that stupid disc. Put it all back together, run the nut down, and uh, ta-da! You have once more restored power to your power outlet. Good luck!